Yeah. I always go swimming in there every, all the time in the summer, yeah. Oh, and often, actually, very late on a Saturday night, even when it wasn't the summer. <laughs> yeah, we, had a, we actually had a really, I mean, you know, I'm obviously really into my environmental issues. And um, a few new years ago, we had a New Year party on the beach and had a, had a campfire and it was warm enough not to wear a coat. And we were just thinking, this is really weird because you shouldn't be able to do that. But it's fantastic, a fantastic place just to come as a kid. And Did you have a hard time leaving this place? Um, or are you just ready? No, I was ready, definitely. I was ready to go. It's, you know, it's a small town. And, um, but you just, I think it's really, really I think I'm very lucky um, growing up in a particularly beautiful place because you've got fantastic memories of it and coming back you can sort of come on a little holiday you know it's uh -huh. somewhere that you definitely like to come back to and i think having that beauty in your childhood is really great because if you just if you grew up in a skank hole <laughs> horrible industrial town you're just like oh, i'd love to go home but actually no i don't really want to go home at all but this is this is somewhere that you'd come even if you didn't that's, that's grow up you know wow. But I think, you know, you can, you can totally get why I've got so much landscape in my songs and why I've latched on so strongly to environmental stuff. So has her success surprised you? Oh, very much so. I mean, she, we always knew she was talented, but realistically, you know, that the chances of the sort of success she's had are very small, and she's done it, you know? She's that exceptional person that's managed it. Golden finger yes. from the sky. But when I look back, when I look back, you know, we should have. I can see how she's reached the stage when I look back. But it was hard when you were in the midst of it to think she would come right out of the. So, so you had your doubts, is what you're saying? Well, I, I'm a very, I'm a realist, and I knew that the percentage chance of success was very small. And I'm not at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, not, okay. I'm not a realist. <laughs> no. And there was, there was, there was eight years in the struggle. Yeah. It's a long time. Yeah, uh -huh. it was. It was hard. It was hard on the family. And what were you saying? What were you saying to her as she was going through this? Get a job. Get a, <laughs> get a proper job. Get a proper job. <laughs> so is it strange to to read about your daughter and see her in the newspapers and? Great fun. Isn't it? It's fun. Marvelous fun, and one of the big things I remember was when she did the breakthrough on the Jules Holland program. Uh -huh. And Rosemary and I were sitting there watching her, having spent seven years saying, Get a proper job. <laughs> and we knew immediately she completely wrong footed us and was going to be a big <laughs> success. We went dancing around the room. 